already put some mail here. We're at Topolino's today. Wait. We're at the Riviera today. Yeah, the Riviera. We are going oh. to Topolino's. Topolino's. Uh, it's time. It's been a while. It's time for a rebate. Topolino's means mouse in Italian. That's more than I do. Some, so something like that. So we're going to head out. Be sure to... Oh boy. You're going to do that. Oh yeah, that's really good. Thank you. Cheers to Rosé. It's very light in flavor. It's crispy. It's delicious. Um, a very good light in flavor rosé. Definitely easy to drink an entire bottle of this, which is why I'm glad we got one. Every once in a while, even when you're in Disney, you treat yourself to a nice bottle of wine and a fancy dinner. I do like that they've worked out this whole blinds thing. Previously when we came here, they had no blinds. It was just bright sunlight if you were here for dinner in your eyes. Now they got the motorized blinds. It's a beautiful view up here. If you ever get a chance to come to Tolino's, it's almost worth it just for the view. The wine itself though, three and a half out of five claws. It's a nice like rose. Goes uneasy, not too acidic, not dry, but not too sweet. <laughs> olive oil is from Italy. Aforito has gonna be green olives. Very light, very, very fruity. It's hand picked and hand pressed every November of each year from Puglia region. Alright? Uh -huh. For the camera. <laughs> yes, poor Moroccan style. <laughs> Our favorite antler bread, shaped like a wheat stock. Completely vegan. I love that you can like just pull one piece and it's like your own little roll on this antler of love with some olive oil. Might be good with a little pepper or balsamic or something. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys, like so much wind. So much wind. It's so good. Definitely knows it's so accommodating too. Usually they have earth balance, but I'll take this olive oil because it's quite delicious. This bite is a little more crispy than it usually is, which I'm not completely mad at. This bread is always a win. Get the bread. I always like the shape of this bread, even though it looks like you could, you know, murder somebody with one of these things. They are sharp, very sharp. But I love the baguette feel. The fact that they give you the history behind the olive oil. I'll admit that it wasn't until we started this channel that I even recognized the difference between olive oils. You get what you pay for. Bread, three and a half out of five plus. when you come here, the plant-based option is the white bean cassoulet with the sausage, Beyond Sausage. We tried it the last time we were here. Ooh. Memories of Be Our Guest. This is way better than Be Our Guest, I can already tell. It's good. It's got a lot of a lot of flavors. There's a um, plant-based sausage in here and you can taste the plant-based sausage like it brought a lot of flavor into the dish. So not bad. It's just mostly beans. Can't complain about that. It's very herby but it reminds me of like a 
a vegetable pot pie almost, with like obviously no crust on top. But it's not bad. I can see having it as a side. I don't see it having it as like a whole meal. But it's not bad. You're at a five plus. I was just not a fan. Like it was good, but it wasn't the greatest option. So when the waiter suggested that they had pasta options available, of course I'm gonna try something different that's not on the menu. There were two different pastas that I could choose from. I went with the one that had the spinach and cilantro in it, so it is like a green fettuccine. So like a penne. And then I went with a, a marinara with some artichoke and spinach and basil. So I'm going to go ahead. I got my little spoon here. Well, thank you. Twisting pasta takes some skill, yo. Yeah. It's very sweet, but not bad. The artichoke isn't too bad either. It does make it a little sweeter. We're almost like feels like the parmesan on top of your pasta. Like it's just like that perfect topping accompaniment with the spinach too. It's like a spinach artichoke marinara with a green fettuccine. It's a lot of different flavors, but they're all like kind of muted and they balance together very well. So this does not make me miss the cassoulet at all and I'm very appreciative of the fact that I can get pasta here and not just like a mushroom cassoulet. The white bean is good. It's not this white. So I'm always kind of worried when the princess gets like a off-menu pasta made in Italian restaurants and most of the Italian style restaurants here on Disney property will make you just an off-the-shelf pasta if you ask plant-based or not. Uh, but this one actually looks like there was some care put into it. It's not just slapped together. They have like some wine ripened tomatoes in here, spinach, artichoke, and this like beautiful fettuccine. I mean, this isn't just slapped together. It definitely took some thought when they cooked it. These artichoke pieces though are huge. If anything, I wish they'd slim those down just a hair. Get some noodles in here somewhere. Maybe? Yeah, there we go. So it's beautifully seasoned. The artichoke is an amazing addition. They season it just enough to cut through the acidity of the tomatoes and the spinach. Plus that um, spinach fettuccine is like amazing. I'm like this tastes like it should be an on the menu. So this is probably the best off the shelf, off menu pasta thing you've ever had. And this is solid. I would come here eat this and still feel like I had a nice fine dining experience. It's yeah, solid. Four and a half out of five balls. So, the way they recommended the sole manoir, which is the slightly breaded fish stuffed. I had no idea what it was going to look like on the plate until it got here. As you can see, like it's this thinly breaded white fish with potatoes and olive stuffed in the middle. It looks beautiful. I've never seen a fish cooked like this before. But I am excited to try this. Anytime anybody says a fish is breaded, I get worried because I really don't like breaded fish. I prefer my fish like pan seared or grilled. But this is beautiful potatoes. And it's all potatoes. It's some of the greens up here. It's surrounded by its own white butter sauce. Mm. Cutting, put a few little highlights for you. Okay. Um, 
That white wine butter sauce is amazing. The breading on there isn't enough so it feels fried. It's just enough to give the fish a nice crunch when you bite into it. You get the soft, flaky fish. Potatoes are like literally melting your mouth, like cook soft. This is an amazing fish. This is probably one of the better fish dishes I've had in a long time. And I was considering ordering the salmon. I'm glad I did not. I would come back for this. A solid four and a half out of five cost. We got the moose. We got the moose. We got the moose. Yeah, we got the moose. Cheers to dessert. Now that is how you dessert. Beautifully balanced. Sweet but not too sweet. Light but not too light. This is a beautiful dessert. I love this. I'm gonna take one of these little moosey guys too. I feel like this is gonna be super light and airy. Mm. Oh my gosh, yes, and it is. Oh. It almost tastes like a dried fruit, but like a good dried fruit, not one of those nasty ones like raisins. This is an amazing dessert. I don't want to share this with Bear. In fact, Bear, don't even try to take a bite out of this dessert. It's all mine. No, 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 no. Number one reason to have bear claws is the easier pull the food away from the princess. So this is a beautiful fruits of the forest dessert. And it's literally a forest with a moose and sorbet in the middle. It's a nice, very nice shareable dessert. There's a little bit of everything. I'm gonna try to get all this in one bite. If desserts were something that you had to work for, say that all the things that you did to get here, eat your food, finish all your fruits and veggies, children, to get to this, it would be extremely worth it. It's like a light candied fruit taste of the syrup. It doesn't feel like overly artificial. The sorbet is a compliment, it doesn't like take away from the rest of what's in here. Plus different fruits and the way it's displayed is absolutely wonderful. It tastes amazing. This is going to be the first dessert of all the desserts we tried. It's getting a 5 out of 5 claws and it's making the bare necessities list. That has been Tobolinos. It was good. Yes, Better definitely. than our previous experiences. That's for sure. This has definitely been a redemption for this restaurant. We weren't in love the last time, even though we loved the view. The food this time and the service was so leaves above much last better. time. But we want to know, what did you think of Tobolinos? Have you been or do you have plans to be? In the comments in the place let us know. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Oh.